All right, the Super Eagles of Nigeria really doing what they needed to do how to get the three maximum points at that time. And of course, uh, bring their campaign back. And they did it in Grand Star. Still Sport Beat right here on Super Screen Television, where we always serve you the latest this and happening in the morning spinning world of sport. We say it's your window to all sporting activities. You can join us on Star Times Channel 173 and UHF 45 can get the very best of, of sports, uh, the very best from us right here in the station. All right, let's quickly talk basketball right now. And of course, the D-Tigers uh, will be facing Ivory Coast uh, later today in the second leg of the FIBA World Cup qualifiers. Remember, uh, Nigeria, the D-Tigers, are ready to choose to the finals. But for some of the teams uh, who are not yet true, they have a very good chance. Uh, if you ask me, the Ivorians feel they have a chance. But of course, uh, the coach said it can be possible. Ade Tuji Emmanuel, they have a tough game against Nigeria. After that game against Nigeria, they need to win their next two games to put them in a poor position towards qualifying for the FIBA World Cup. Well, uh, I felt at some point as uh, West African brothers that they have, maybe we can actually do them some, uh, some kind of favor <laughs> <laughs> so that they can actually have a very good chance. Because I think right now, uh, you would say Nigeria actually true to the biggest stage as far as the World Cup is concerned. And I think that's where our uh, major attention should be on. We've conquered Africa. We've done it over the years and over the times. And I think it's right now we have to actually put our footprint right there as far as the world is concerned. But in the game against Ivory Coast, just like you rightly said, the coaches, they are actually believing and they are talking tough. And most especially, I think they will seize this opportunity to actually make a statement against the D-Tigers of Nigeria. And if there is any point that they can actually get one pass, uh, the D-Tigers, I think it should be this game. All right, we just wait to see how things pan out. I don't want the D-Tigers to lose that game. Uh, <laughs> if they must... Uh, qualify, we will really, really need to give it at uh, their all. But I think it's going to be very, very impossible against the D Tigers of Nigeria. Oysting the flag of the country are uh, very high when you talk about basketball. All right, uh, let's quickly talk CAF Confederations Cup. Uh, Rangers International of Enugu has departed uh, for Tunisia ahead of the clash with a try this Sahel on Sunday. Remember, Rangers are doing very well. They've got four points. And of course, they're topping Group B of the CAF Confederations Cup. Atayo, I think for uh, Rangers, they weathered the storm in, in their last game. Uh, they played against um, uh, they played against CS Pacien, mm. and they got a, a, a decent result against them, a draw. Uh, what are their chances in this game against a high-profile Etoile de Sahel? I had it this morning, I was scared. <laughs> because, <laughs> <laughs> looking at uh, Etoile Desire, what they have done in, at the, on the continent, uh, I don't see, it's going to be a very fantastic one. But just like you said, uh, Rangers have been doing well. I just feel they will be able to hold their own. But ha, it's going to be the 60 40 <laughs> encounter. <laughs> because these guys, they have experienced players, and majority of them, the, the, the irony of it is that majority of their players, they play in Tunisia. Hmm. So they don't really go out to play in Europe. So they play together, they understand the terrain. So I just feel Rangers will go down. If they are disciplined, maybe a drop won't be a bad result. All right. Uh, I didn't think you might, uh, oh, <laughs> I what's your take? <laughs> you don't feel, uh, you know, if from the way Tyro spoke right now, yeah. it looks like we should just concede, <laughs> you know, that they've lost that game. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, when it comes to this game, nobody gave them a chance in their last game and they, 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 they got a decent result over well, there. Well, uh, they actually got a decent result in their last game, but you would say, uh, going all the way to Tunisia against Etoy de Sahel, uh, I think it's a, uh, almost like a 70-30 as, as, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Tyro said 60 40, you're saying 70 30. 70 30. And that's in favor of Etoy Desire because they are playing on a home soil right there, and all the fans are actually right behind them. And you would know that uh, Tunisia can be actually hostile when it talks about uh, football. The North Africans, they are actually passionate. I'm telling you, go and ask him, uh, Kamara. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the coach of MFM. MFM yeah. I'm telling you, when you play there, at times you feel just make one, make yeah, just, just let's just play to this, save yeah. our lives. Let's just play these 90 minutes and get out of here. I'm and, telling you. And apart from that, I think uh, 
people desire a very, very good thing. Uh, you talk about a lot of experience right there as far as that side is concerned. When you talk about a true desire as far as African football uh, club competition is concerned, most times you see them playing in the Cup Champions League deep because they've gotten a lot of this experience in there. So I think in this game, Rangers against Eto Desire, if they can nick a draw, I think it's going to be a very fantastic result for Rangers. All right, I'm going to be putting my feet down for Rangers International no, you don't because this. <laughs> I tell you, when we come back on Monday, I will be celebrating their victory we hope against so. we hope Eto Desire. They can't pull the chest out of the, uh, after the fire and just say, as I said earlier, and I've continued to say, Impossible is nothing when it comes to the game of football. All right, let's quickly give you the highlight of uh, the, some of the games uh, that went down in the UEFA Europa League uh, yesterday. We saw Arsenal beating Bate Borisov by three goals to nothing. Enjoy the highlights and we'll be back.